Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making these cute little jewel leaf appliques and I'm just going to show you how to make one of them and you can make as many of these as you want. I'll get into the supplies we need and I'll get, um, you know, give you some tips and tricks on what you can use these appliques for and then we'll get into making these cute little pieces. So the supplies we're going to need, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Yarns. Uh, this is just a scrap yarn project. You can obviously see these leaves are very, very tiny so uh, we are not using a whole lot of yarn I don't have a specific yardage you're just going to need um, two colors a main color and an accent color as you can see here we outline with the accent color and we have our main color and this is the back side of the leaf and I'm just going to show you how to make this pink one on camera um, but you can make uh, as many as you want I made this other turquoisey one with brown uh, as well so these are red heart super saver yarns I'm using two strands at the same time so that's why I have two balls of this um, pink and then one strand of this gold. So you're not going to need a whole lot of yarn. I'm using a J sized crochet hook which is six millimeters so you can use a J hook or really any size hook that you want to. The, the J hook will get you this size of uh, leaf so if you want to have this bigger size you can use this. If you want it bigger you can use a bigger hook. If you want it smaller more tight stitching you can use a smaller hook Hook. And this specific hook that I got, uh, I have it's a nice ergonomic handcrafted, hand carved wood handled hook that you can get on the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this hook because this is super fancy, is super fun to use and easy to use, especially if you have arthritis and um, just if you don't want to you know hold a small tiny aluminum um, hook, you can use this thicker handle and it looks really nice and it is so comfortable. So I'll put a link to the Etsy shop would be fancy and you can get one of these hooks on Etsy. Also I, you are going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew in some ends um, when you you know change color and all that stuff. And another uh, one thing I do want to mention though like there are different things you can use these appliques for. You can put this on a side of a hat, um, you know make two of them and put them on the hat or overlap them. You can uh, make artwork, you know, um, if you have like a big canvas uh, piece, a uh, plain canvas, you can make a bunch of these in all different colors and kind of scatter them and make a piece of art with these, um, gluing them on or somehow attaching them to a canvas. You can make a cute little Valentine's Day card. Actually, I have like a little um, handmade card. You just need a, a piece of paper, like a cardstock piece of paper. You can put some calligraphy and I believe in you. <laughs> And then put a little, um, little tiny Valentine crochet piece on there, and you can even cut a little uh, felted heart out and kind of glue that on as well onto the card, and then have a cute little Valentine's Day card for the one you love. So uh, there's all kinds of cute things you can do with these little appliques. You can attach them to blankets, scarves, hats, um, table runners, you know, uh, pillowcases, really anything. There's so many things you can do with appliques, and the this is such a cute and easy project so I hope you enjoy it so before we begin though I do have to mention there are links in the description of this video so there's a link to my blog yarnutopia.com where you'll get the written pattern for the jewel leaf applique also there's a link to my Facebook and Instagram and if you make a leaf or make as a bunch of leaves I'd like to see what you make and uh, share your photos you know on the Facebook and Instagram hashtag yarnutopia and uh, you know let me know what you're doing with your appliques I want to see what what you come up with and what projects you're making with these also, um, there's, you know, check out all those links in the description of this video because there's a link to everything and everywhere you can follow me. If you have a question about this project, you can find it on the blog or if you can't find it, just leave a comment on this video or uh, contact me through Facebook and I will try to answer all your questions. So those are all the supplies we need and that's all that. So get your yarn and let's get started and make this jewel leaf applique. So you want to start out with two strands of yarn at the same time. So you can see here I have my two little scrap balls of yarn and I am putting the two strands together and then we need to make a slip knot to start out. So let's put the short ends over your long ends. Okay, this end is attached to the ball of yarn. Then fold this down and then pull the long ends through and pull tight. Okay, there's your slip knot. You can insert your hook and we can start. 
So let's start out by chaining 10. So yarn over and pull through. One, yarn over, pull through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now in the second chain from the hook, we are going to slip stitch in there. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain. So count one chain and two chain right there. That's the second chain. And what I like to do is turn my chain toward me and work in those back ridges right there of my chain. So that's where I'm gonna work through this pattern on this end here. So I'm gonna go into the second chain right there. Make sure you're going under both strands of yarn, okay? then yarn over and pull that through and pull through the loop on your hook. Okay, that's a slip stitch. Then we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So go into the next chain. I'm sorry, not the second chain, the next chain. So single crochet in there. So yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Just like that. Now in the next chain, right here, we are going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into this next chain, then yarn over and pull through. And then you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Just like that. That's a half double crochet. Now we want to double crochet in the next two chains. So in this chain right here, we're going to yarn over go into that next chain, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook, and then yarn over again and pull through those last two loops on your hook. Okay, that's a double crochet. So you have to put another double crochet in that next chain here. So yarn over, go into the next available chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now, in these next two chains here, we are going to put a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go into this next chain here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops there. Another one in this next one. Oh, in these next three chains, sorry. One, there was one, two, and three. Okay, so we have to put another treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go into the next chain here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through these other two loops. Okay, those are treble crochets. So there's another chain here. We're going to put in another treble crochet. So again, yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now what we want to do is chain three. There's still one chain left here. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to come down to this chain down here and slip stitch into there. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. You can see I'm kind of turning this around now. I am going to work on the opposite end of this foundation chain, going back up to the tip of the leaf, okay? So this is what your piece should look like. You turn it upside down. And now what we're going to do is chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to be working in each of these, basically these stitches across here. And we're doing the same stitch as the opposite end. So this next stitch right here is going to get a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go into where that stitch is, right there. I'm gonna work over the top of my straggler as well, this loose end here, so it sews it in as I go, so I don't have to sew it in later. Yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Okay. 
So now the next stitch, the next two stitches actually get a treble crochet each. So remember, yarn over twice. Go in this next one. Make your treble crochets. Okay. And the next stitch also gets a treble crochet. Remember, I'm working over the straggler to sew that in. And I'm working the same stitch as the opposite end here. So now this next stitch right here is a double crochet. Okay, so we're going to just yarn over once, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, this next stitch is also a double crochet, so yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. This next stitch is a half double crochet, so yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook, and then single crochet in the next stitch. So go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now this first stitch right here, we are going to slip stitch into there, so go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Just like that. So there is your leaf. So now we need to fasten this part off. So just chain one and then we can cut our yarn. Okay, pull that through, pull it tight. So this is what it should look like right now. It kind of looks like a little raindrop or something, <laughs> like a shape of a raindrop. So now I'm going to uh, sew in some ends here. This one is already sewn in, so I'm safe to trim that one. And then these two ends here, I have my yarn needle, and I'm just going to yarn my needle with that straggler, these little loose ends here. And then I'm just going to sew these in underneath some of these stitches. Just to hide those in the back, stretch it out, and then cut any extra you may have. Careful with the scissors, just like that. So now, this is what it should look like so far. So now we're going to outline this in the golden color. All right, so grab some extra yarn or a different color yarn, and we're only going to be using one strand of this one here. Grab your leaf and turn it upside down, so you're looking at this uh, rounded part here, and we're going to insert our hook where we slip stitched at the end here. When we, we chain three, slip stitched, and then chain three again, we're gonna insert our hook at the very center slip stitch, right in here. There we go. And then we're going to hook on this new yarn and pull that through the back there. Okay? And now what we're going to do is slip stitch all along the very edge of our piece. So in this chain, we're actually going to go into the actual stitching of the chain and not around the chain. Okay, so we're going to go in between the it might be a little difficult for the chain por portion of this. Then yarn over and pull through, we're slip stitching. So pull through and pull through, just like that. And there is a nice slip stitch. And this is similar to like um, surface crocheting. So now we're gonna go into the next chain under this loop and this loop here. Yarn over and pull through. If you can, there we go and then pull through that loop on your hook too. And this next chain. Okay, so there's three chains that we have to go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now we're gonna go into the stitch here, so go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, and pull through, and the next stitch, okay? And in each stitch around this whole piece, we're just, slip stitching. I'm going a little faster now, just slip stitching around so you can see here this is what you'll have. A nice surface edging. It'll just outline the leaf. 
Uh, once I get back around to the other side, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to making the stem and then going up the center. All right, when you get to the last three chains here, we slip stitch in each one of those. Then we're going to go back to where we started in this middle uh, slip stitch right there. We're going to go into there. So slip stitch in that. And then what we're going to do is actually chain three. So yarn over, pull through one, two, and three. And then we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So go into this second chain right here, yarn over and pull through and pull through. And in the next chain right here, go in, yarn over, pull through and pull through. And then we're going to go back to where we started in the same spot and slip stitch back into there. So yarn over and pull through and through. Okay, so we made a, a mini tiny little stem. If you wanted your stem to be longer, you can chain more and just slip stitch along your chain to make it as long as you need it to be. But there's a little stem now. And now we're going to slip stitch up the center of this leaf here. So we're going to go into this chain, this uh, center line right here where we put our stitches. We are going to put a slip stitch right in there, so yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, next free stitch right here, going in, then yarn over in the back there, and pull, oops, yeah, you gotta hook it on there. There we go, and pull through and through. And the next free stitch is right here, Okay, so it's just it down the center of this piece. Okay, the next one was right here. Yarn over and pull through and through. Next one here. Next one here. Okay, and then this next one is right here. Okay, now this next one, this very last one, is going to go up underneath these sl slip stitches here. Okay, into the back of the leaf. Yarn over, pull through, and through. Now what we're going to do is cut this yarn and continue to pull it through that last one there. Just like that. Pull it tight a little bit. There we go, and there you have it. So now we're going to grab our yarn needle and sew in this end right here. So we're just going to take this, go underneath this slip stitch up at the top there, and then through to the back of the leaf. So that's all hidden. Okay, turn this around, and we're just going to sew this underneath these loops of our slip stitches. Okay, you want to keep it on the edge here um, or in like near the same color and you can see I'm going back through here now. Okay, stretch it out and cut any extra and there's one more end right here that we have to take care of just yarn your needle, go behind these slip stitches, and then come back through. Make sure you sew in all your ends, and there it is, the lovely jeweled leaf applique. How pretty!
So you can make a bunch of these, have, um, you know, appliques for blankets, hats, or um, anything, really, a table runner, pillow covers. These appliques can be used for pretty much anything. I've made another one a little bit smaller. You can see there, um, I just chained only nine, and instead of doing three treble crochets in a row, I just did the two. Okay, but it's the same. It's, um, you know, the slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double, double, treble, treble, and then chain three, slip stitch, chain three, and then work on the opposite end there. Just do the, the two treble crochets. So it's a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller than the one I just showed you. But you can make these any size you want, and if you wanted to use a smaller hook or a bigger hook, you can make as many of these as you want, bigger or smaller, in any colors too. So share your work on the Facebook, on the Instagram, hashtag Yarn Utopia, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Happy hooking!